What's everybody? What's up, everybody? Frost here with another episode of Magic Duel's Origins. Sorry, I got a little tripped up there. We are going to continue what I did, uh, what well, what I did like 30 seconds ago, and what you saw yesterday, if all things go as planned. Because uh, I, I like to have a little lineup of things so that I, I can upload them all in the weekend and then just like up and, and then like make them public during the week, day by day, to keep you an interesting filter of things. Which also means I don't play literally every day, which I used to. I used to play literally every day. What the hell is that? Did that say like Elder Layers? I couldn't even, couldn't even read that. Uh, I am not opposed to one land hands, but this one I am. So I'm gonna mulligan that. Uh, ooh, one creature. Well, technically three creatures, but still not good. Also, not playing first is a real bad deal. What does that say? Ella's good. Big gayers? I don't know. Whatever. Screw this guy. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's talking about. The uh, play here, uh, unsurprisingly, Call the Full Moon. I mean, I, I think you guys are getting uh, the way this deck is supposed to go. Um, I have a very likely chance of losing uh, because I did not play first, and I am up against Is It though, and Is It tends to be a little bit slower than Mono Red. Uh, but Is It is still dangerous colors, and if he does not have a Twin Bolt, I will be blown away, which means. I am a little more interested in playing uh, Matring Bully, just in case he has that Twin Bolt. Because uh, the, the the odds of him having it are, are pretty fucking high, frankly. And I don't want to just get... And Fiery Impulse is the same as Twin Bolt to me. Uh, actually, I would have hit the Matring Bully, but if he has more removal, then that's probably the right move. We'll see what he does um, next turn. I do have more creatures. So I'm not, like, the most scared. Okay, I'm not too scared of that at all, actually. Not even a little bit. Holy cow. So, what do I want to do? Probably f call the full moon, actually. Um, unless he has more removal. What does this bought me up to? Four? Four health? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. And you know what? I'm just going to do this now so I get an extra damage in there, and he can't even block, so everything better just happens. <laughs> Hopefully, a super aggressive start from me uh, pays off at some point. I am not opposed to dropping Infectious Bloodlust and Dragon Fodder. Oh, wait, yeah, that was two, two plays. Whoops. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking call the full moon. Oh, I keep forgetting. Ah. That was the first time I forgot about that effect in a long time, man. Alright, yeah, he is playing uh, the um, artifact deck. Which, actually, I have not seen a lot of recently. I wonder if it really just fell out of favor. I'm not sure why you'd play this renowned creature in the artifact deck. I, I feel like that's not the best one. But, uh, what the fuck do I know? So, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, if he wants to, to trade a bunch, I'm okay with that. Like, really okay with that. Infectious Bloodlust is going on this guy, so he can swing in as well. And we're coming in hot. Like, real fucking hot. We're getting in there. Uh, he's probably gonna chump. I, I think I would. <laughs> um, I, well, I'm not sure. I don't know. It depends what else is in his hand. If he has uh, buff creatures, he might want to save those flyers. Um, but then again, I am, like, smacking the shit out of him. Alright, he chooses not to trade with that 3-3, uh, which he definitely could have. So that kind of tells me he either has maybe a bounce spell, or maybe he's got more artifacts that are going to drop down that he's willing to sacrifice to it. I don't know. Whatever it means, it means he wants to use that uh, that ability. Alright, Dehydration is probably w one of the worst removal spells in this format, and I'm not even joking. And he's swinging in? Okay. This, I mean, first of all... This doesn't tap the creature. It's four mana. It costs more than another one that does tap the creature. There's literally, like, no reason. I mean, it's a shit spell, dude. That's just what I'm trying to say. Ooh, wife is talking to me on the phone. Wonder what she wants. I'm not picking up because I'm recording. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I am a good and obedient husband, sweetie, if you're watching. Uh, we are swinging in. We are also going to pump this. And uh, we're going to quickly text... Uh, Titan Strength. Do I want that? 
You know what? I really don't. I want more creatures, and the, the things that he has out right now uh, aren't that scary to me. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can find some more creatures, because that's really what I'm actually in the mood for. I guess that wouldn't have been that bad. Uh, eh, I don't know. He, he's probably not swinging in with a 2-2. <laughs> probably. I'd be surprised if he did. All right, no, he didn't. Okay. Oh, but he's, he's leaving it open? No, he's not. He's telling time, which seems a little late for that. Uh... Okay, land is, is definitely poops. Land is definitely poops. Okay, I am losing my Mage Ring Bully, which sucks. But it's okay because I'm still bringing him down to four, and that brings him uh, in range of Exquisite Firecraft or maybe um, a Twin Bolt. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the trade. I'm not sure why he didn't do that uh, a while ago, actually. That's pretty much what was going to happen. Um, he's, I, I mean, I'm live to a lot of things. Any, a, a lot of stuff can come down right now and win me the game. So I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this position. That's doing pretty much nothing. Is that doing literally nothing? I think it does do literally nothing, right? Yep. <laughs> it is a 2-3 though. And that's game. I mean, I, it was, it was this or something else, man. I'm, I'm not really going to consider that too much of a top deck. Because I was live to all sorts of things. Sorry, dude. Alright, couldn't pronounce your name. Uh, definitely think you could have done a little bit better there with, uh, with your blocks. And getting aggressive on me was really weird, swinging in for just two damage. That was, um, I mean, if you're ever watching this or whatever. I would have held that thing back. I would have traded before. You could have traded that uh, previously. When you chump blocked, I had a major ring bully that was at uh, three and three. You could have chumped, and you chumped it with a one one flyer, and then you held your um, you held your two two back. You could have you could have blocked that too, taken out my three three, and then used your dehydration on my other major ring bully, and I would have been uh, much more controlled. Then I would have just been stuck with two uh, one ones. Uh, that would have been much more difficult for me. So that really should have been your game, and your play has kind of dropped it for you. So I'm sorry. Anyway, um, that's <laughs> this is weird, guys. I got like multiple late game, no early game. I don't think I can. I don't think I'm not even on the play. I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I mean, maybe that was better to do not on the play because that way I can at least. Uh... Fuck it, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. A, a couple of misplays for me on that last game, too. The Call of the Full Moon uh, falling off was really stupid. Ooh, good. Good, good, good. Glory Chasers definitely prefer it over uh, Street Denizen. Foundry Street Denizen. You know, that Foundry, I think, is a background in one of the... Uh, in one of the avatars that you can do. That The, the background in that, it, it looks sort of... I mean, at least the architecture of that, of that building looks very... I don't know, that red background that I, I sometimes like. Felidar Cub. Uh, Felidar Cub is worth it today uh, because he can pop all of my things. So I think I'm just going to Twin Bolt this guy right in the shitter. Not really my favorite thing to do, honestly. I really don't like doing that. But uh, getting a 2-2 two -two for Menace hopefully is worth it. Um, he's playing white-blue. You don't see that too often, at least not without a bunch of flyers and auras. But we'll see exactly what he's playing uh, in, a, in a couple of turns, won't we? Oh, and black. Okay, no, so this is all control. All right, all right. I wonder what the blue is in there for. Hmm, I wonder what he's doing. Is this the uh, mill deck, then? Mill deck with a bunch of removal and shit? It's possible. Uh, I normally say don't do this, but I'm going... I'm going to do this just to hope for a land, because I do want that third land right now. Otherwise, I would have done the Majoring Bully. Oh, did that just work out? No, it didn't. Shit. Oh, well. Uh, because if you've ever watched my other videos, I always say, like, um, this card... Well, not that card. It's a land. 
Okay, I, I, hate, I hate the fucking controller sometimes. Abbot of Carol Keep, that's usually a, a turn three or turn four drop. Or when you have three or four mana, or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna go super aggro on this guy, because he's a little bit scary. And I'm gonna save that Call of the Full Moon for later. I wanna see how he deals with this first. Okay, he doesn't deal with it. Alright, that's good to know. Alright. Because uh, Call of the Full Moon is a great fucking card, and I don't want to lose it prematurely. I, I mean, I do have all the creatures for it and everything. I think next turn I'm going to... Let's see. Either Arsonist or Street Denizen, followed by an Infectious Bloodlust. I think I actually prefer Foundry Street Denizen. Um, this, this is the thing with uh, Lifelink, right? Lifelink, yeah. Okay. Shambling Vent's a damn good card. Damn good card. All right, and it comes out as a 2-3, so I can kill it. Yes. He will gain some life, though. Which is no fun, but acceptable. Very acceptable. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm doing. Oh, wait, I can't drop that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't have enough. Oh, should I have done uh, Call the Full Moon, then, to get around his uh, Disperse? Oh, my Abbot? Oh, all right, so he wasn't going to do that tricky trick shit anyway. Okay. That's that's actually fine. I I'm happy to get another another opportunity to trigger uh trigger my abbot. I'm actually quite happy for that. I that that's surprising. Uh he is definitely getting up there to stabilize. A 5-7 is somewhat scary to me. I actually forgot what this particular 5-7 does. Um well he didn't exile anything. Oh, except for that one guy, but he needs to do two of them, right? That player exiles the top two of his library, and you draw two cards. Oh, 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 Sire Stagnation. That's when I put down a land. Is it when I play a land? When it enters the battlefield. Okay. That's actually much more dangerous. Interesting. Interesting card. Huh. Do I want to do that? Not really. All right, I'm pretty convinced that this is the, uh, the mill pile, so he's probably... Um, Searching for his mill. He's probably got a bunch of removal and shit in there. So, what we're going to do... Hmm. What are we going to do, you guys? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Don't like this. Don't like this. And you know... He's got languishes in there too, right? I don't like this. This is actually very dangerous for me. Well, I definitely don't want him to draw two cards. Um, so I think I'm just gonna try to play out as much as I can. Hmm. This is dangerous. I, I, this could be a loss. I might have to duck out of here. I might. I am not above that. Okay, well, this is probably a game. <laughs> I uh, I probably lost. Yeah, I uh, I lost. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's game. Good job, man. You definitely you definitely stabilized. Definitely got me. Congrats to you. Good job. Um, that was a good uh, that was a good mill deck. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that was mill. Um, I mean, I guess I can't really prove it because he didn't actually drop the, the one enchantment that he needed, but he had a whole lot of defensive things. He was playing blue-white, which is generally what they, they go in with the mill with, or go the mill with. Uh, they can also go black. I liked it. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was legit. I haven't seen that deck actually played in that way against me. White man. Fucking racists. Um, <laughs> just kidding, guys. And, wow, White Man's got way too many, uh, cards. I'm not going first. Man, what is with me not going first these days? I swear to God. Like, honestly, me going first, I, I'm above 50% win rate. Me going second, I'm under 50%. I mean, am I still making progress here, or am I losing? Eh, not really. I'm kind of, like, hovering at 22 right now. 
Maybe I should make some changes to my deck. I didn't think it really needed any, but I could add more uh, creatures to try to be a little more aggro. Or should I make more controlly? Uh, aggro or controlly? Uh, two one first strike? Are you fucking kidding me? That's amazing. Holy shit. Um, all right. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Let's see, where do I want to go with this? 2-1 first strike fucking sucks. No no way out of that. And one land... I, I mean, I really didn't see that coming. See, that's another thing. If I had, uh... If I had gone first, this would be a totally different game right now. But right now, he's already stabilized on turn 2, so that's a massive problem for me. Mmm, I'm getting real sick of this red deck, honestly. I think I'm gonna have to go back, and or, or at least try something new. If you guys know any other good decks... Uh, to grind out, I would not mind. I mean, I, 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 I'm kind of feeling my uh, Thopters deck again, cause, just cause, because nobody's like really playing it. It's sort of invisible. I've only seen it like maybe two, three times in the last couple of weeks. Like it's really not that common anymore. It used to be rampant. I, I definitely got to 40 last time with it. That was one hell of a deck. Why are you swinging with that? Oh, you've got another one, huh? You son of a bitch, you do, don't you? <laughs> He's got more. He's got more. You go ahead and get that Renown. That's... That I'm not stopping, dude. You know it. What else you got? Night of, Night of the White Orchid. That one? That was not so scary. That was not nearly as scary as that other one. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. No lands is upsetting. No lands is very upsetting. Because uh, I, I that that would get me through it. Um, just too much would get me through here. Hmm. Well, let's just get in there. Uh, look for my lands. I know who he's gonna block. It's gonna be the uh, the menace or potential, the renown guy is gonna get it. But that's how it works. That is how it works. Come on, man. Do your block. It, there's one choice only, you know? It's like, it really is only one way to do this. Oh, thank God. Please and thank you. At least we trade. At least I got to scry. I guess I didn't have to swing with that guy. I could have just swing, swung with the uh, street tenants. And maybe that was a misplay? Was that a misplay? Actually, that might have been a misplay, you guys. I probably didn't need to kill that guy. Fuck. You don't see a lot of mono white, and a 70 card mono white, <laughs> that is a rare thing to see. If uh, if this beats me, you know what? Uh, I deserve the lo loss, man. <laughs> I deserve it big time. I suck. Mmm. I love two nights. My favorite thing in the world. Does he have uh, auras in there at all? I hope so, because that would be a waste. Uh, yeah, you're coming down. Def ref. And let's hope you don't have that uh, one mana removal thing, or that uh, one mana pump, uh, Lithomancer focus, or whatever the hell. Was that two? I don't remember. I don't remember. Mm. <laughs> well, um... Man, Mono White, that is definitely a deck I do not see often. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't even really know what the, the, the point is, really. I, I guess he's just just a whole, just all white. I mean, I don't think there's enough variety in white to make any unique kind of decks, right? I mean, it's just a bunch of white creatures that you just happen to have, I think. I think that's what it is. I think. He's going to keep swinging with that 4-3. He, he might have me. I don't think there's a whole lot I can do right now. I mean, I can pop a couple of his guys. I mean, he just hit me for 8, which is not insignificant. Can I hit him back for anything? I mean, I need another land minimum. And then I need to smack him with the Exquisite Firecrafts. Yeah, I think I just lost this. And I don't even have enough. Yeah, I just lost this. I can't believe I lost to a mono-white deck. How embarrassing. <laughs> that's 
Though that is a lot of losses, you guys. I'm actually a little discouraged right now. Uh, let's just take a look. No, I don't want to foil that guard. Did I just foil that fucking deck? Son of a bitch. Can I take that back? Shit. God damn it. No. I don't even want these fucking foil cards. God damn it. I cannot possibly take that back, can I? And is there any way for me to do that? Autocomplete, filter, select, no. Zoom, zoom in. How do I, can I, can I, can I do it? Can I unfoil? Get my money back? Fuck, that's so lame. That's so lame. Oh man, all right, well, whatever. What's done is done. Let's, uh, wait, what the hell am I doing here? I, I only want red. And maybe these guys too. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Do we have anything that I actually enjoy? Uh, boiling Earth? Eh, not really. Uh, Infernal Fist is actually pretty controlly. That might be a possibility. I can probably replace somebody with that. But it does need a lot of mana to get going. Uh, I mean, it's two just for an extra two damage, and then I need a third if I want to do it in the same turn. Eh, I mean, it, it's possible, but I don't know. Uh, two one seems just terrible for two. I really don't like this guy. I mean, I mean, wh why would I ever take that card over this card? Like, I mean, I know it's just one more in the ass, but that's almost never relevant to me. Subterranean Scout. Can't be blocked. Actually, that might be. That. That. Uh, like, pre buffs, that might work. I don't know. I don't know, because I need a lot of mana. I need to, like. Like, if I had a Mage Ring Bully out, I'd put that down, make him unblockable, and then put an aura on him or something. But then I'd need, like. Three minimum lands, maybe four. That that seems pretty heavy. Actually, McKinney Slide Runner might be a might might be a choice. I mean, a Trample Two One who sometimes gets landfall, that could be legit. No, well, I'm I'm never gonna have anything in there. Rolling Thunder. I'm never gonna have enough to make it worth it. Five damage to target creature. Eh. I want to go to the face. This is actually better than that other, uh, than that aura, in my opinion. Uh, the Inferno Fist. This, in my opinion, is weaker than this. I'd rather go for the 2-2 two, two for 2, who can sometimes pop in and make somebody... Actually, you know what? This guy's going in. He's good. He's just fucking good. Uh, this is definitely, like, late game kind of a thing for me. I mean, for my deck, it's a late game thing. Uh, never gonna play that ever. For three, Jesus, that's expensive. And Molten Vortex is possible. I mean, I don't know. Get another one in there? Maybe? Who do I dump? I'm not really the biggest fan of Abbot of Carol Keep. But I don't want to dump too many creatures. How many? Right, I need to dump four. Infectious Bloodlust is a possibility dump. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to dump Infectious Bloodlust. It's either that or Titan Strength. And I kind of like Titan Strength. It's a combat trick, and I actually don't have that many combat tricks in here. Do I have any combat tricks in here? I don't. I have no combat tricks other than Titan Strength. So, you're gone. I've always been wrestling with the idea. I've always thought against it. And today is the day that I finally did it. Wow, look at that. Look at that mana curve. <laughs> it's like, now that's a fucking mana curve. All right. Well, let's see how this guy does uh, in the next episode. Where the hell is he? I just put him in here. Where the, where the hell are you at, man? I just passed you, didn't I? There you are. Let's see how this guy does in the next episode. I, I feel like a 2-2 bear. I mean, you know, a bear is a bear, and that might work. This might be better. Like, if, I, if, if they have a lot of blockers or something, at least I can get in there for another two. And that is instant speed. I don't know. I feel like this is actually a pretty good card, and I'm kind of shocked that I, I never actually played this guy. Okay, well, that'll do it for this episode.